Yo, what's up everybody? This is TJ Customs and I'm back showcasing my latest custom Marvel Legends axe figure and it is Scarlet Spider. Now I know what you guys are thinking. Why are you doing another Scarlet Spider-Man? Now I know I did one on my channel quite a while back and I know there are thousands and thousands of Scarlet Spider action figures in the world. Um, custom action figures I should say. And Hasbro's also made one. This is actually a gift um, for a relative. They wanted to see what I do, and um, he loves Spider-Man, so I thought, well, why not, uh, why not give him a gift of, of uh, Scarlet Spider-Man? Because it's a custom I haven't made in a while, and I wanted to try my hand at redoing it, you know? So, this is my latest one. Uh, I'm also going to take a little journey, journey through time, to show you guys, to basically inspire you guys to keep working hard at something. Even if you think like that you're not doing the best at it, you know, it's not working out as well as you might have hoped, just keep working hard at it, all right? Because that's just, that's that's what you should do anyway. So now to this figure. Up, oh, I'm dropping him. Now to this figure. This is a Spider-Man 2099 uh, from the Sandman Wave uh, base figure. Otherwise, also I think it's the Bullseye base body, the Sunspot base body, just that base. Um... You know, specific to this figure, I got rid of the uh, talons that he had on his uh, arms, like the Batman things he had. Uh, I had to re-sculpt the, reshape the arms. Um, so I had to reshape those. Uh, clearly, I sculpted the hoodie. You know, I put a lot of sculpt on the hoodie uh, to get these tears too. A uh, nice uh, right where the articulation is. So he's got like nice tears in his hoodie. Sculpted the hood. Um, again, more nice tears. I used the wiring that uh, I explained in a few other of my videos for the, the hoodie strings. Um, let's see what else. I sanded the head completely. So uh, basically I sanded all the details that were on the 2099 head. Also sanded a little bit of the jawline to make it a little bit more roundish. Make the jawline a little bit rounder and pointier. I thought that would look nicer. Sculpted the eyes. Uh, kind of see close up what the head looks like. Sculpted the eyes. Um, oh. Get a refocus here. Um, so yeah, I sculpted the belt, every little detail on that. Sculpted the wristlets and the anklets. So I sculpted the ankles as well. Uh, painted him with Citadel paints. Um, I based him in black, as I always do. I uh, used a couple different shades of red for the red. Uh, a couple different shades of blue. And obviously black for the spider, silver. For the wristlets and the web cartridges, and the web cartridge belt, white for the eyes. You know, pretty self-explanatory stuff here. Um, you know, there's nothing too complicated with a Scarlet Spider-Man uh, custom, but it was something that I knew I could make, and I wanted to give it a shot. Now, what I'm going to cut to is a nice little comparison that should hopefully in encourage you guys to keep on going. All right, so longtime viewers of my channel might remember this guy here on the left um, as my profile picture, as well as um, he was in my old intros. Basically, the guy on the left is my first ever, one of my first ever customs and my first attempt at the Scarlet Spider-Man. I've made countless attempts at Spider Scarlet Spider-Man before, but this uh, one on the left was my first attempt at making him. I keep it around just to, like I said, just to inspire me as like, you know, I'm, I'm improving and I keep getting better every year. And every time I try to do stuff, I keep improving and getting better. And I want to show this to you guys just to tell you guys, like, I was not good as a, when I started. And most probably most customizers weren't. As you can tell just by looking at the one on the left, the one on the right is miles better, in just in my opinion. But I'm sure in most people's opinion as well. But my point is, my point I'm making, or I'm trying to make, is that... You just keep, you've got to keep practicing with this craft and with any arts, any art and anything in life. You just got to, you've got to keep practicing and eventually it'll get better. And I wanted to show this off because this one on the left is really nostalgic to me. And I wanted to show how I've improved from left to right. So let's get back to the guy on the right. So yeah, here is, this is my uh, finished custom. Uh, he also comes with interchangeable hands, just uh, another fist. Just a fist for the left hand and a thwip hand for the left hand. So actually, it's a fist for the right hand. <laughs> but yeah, that is my custom. Basically, he retains all his articulation. As you can see, he's got that. He's still got that butterfly uh, joint thing going on there. Um, you know, whatever that thing is, it's got like the weird joint there. He's still got the ab crunch. 
you know, works good. Seamless with the spider emblem, so that works, you know. The waist swivel still works. I'm not gonna do it though. All the joints work well, they still work, so yeah. Um, anyway, let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this Scarlet Spider-Man. Again, like I said, I think it's miles better than any of the other ones I've done previously. But let me know what you guys think. Um, I know it's another just generic Scarlet Spider-Man action figure, but I'm happy with how it turned out. So I want to thank anyone and everyone who's seen this video. If you liked the video, please click that like button and subscribe to see more content from me. Hopefully I will be bringing out a lot more. Um, I'm trying to do it five days a week, but sometimes it might get a little bit hard, just so you guys know. So if there's not a video out every single day, uh, don't worry. I'm, I'm just working on my craft and trying to make, you know... Try to make figures and other things like that. And I'm coming up with content so I can bring it to you guys. Um, and the most of my content is going to be custom. So, you know, it, sometimes it takes me a little bit to get customs going when I'm still in college right now. But um, I want to thank anyone who ever seen the video. Uh, please leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more. I'll catch you guys in the next video. All right, peace.